Hello everybody, uh, happy Christmas to everybody out there. It is, uh, at the time of this video, it is quarter past four on the 25th of December 2019. No, 2018, what the hell am I saying? Never mind, it's 2018. It's not 2019, which would be weird because that would mean we just time skipped a whole year. Which would be very weird, but no, no, no. It is December 25th, 2018, and it is quarter past four. Now, this video is a gift unwrapping video uh, from my very good friend John Knowles, aka TF Knowlesy from YouTube. Um, I have some presents here that he uh, gifted to me the other day. Uh, thank you very much, mate. Uh, no doubt you're enjoying the um, keg of ale I got you for your Christmas and as well as the books. You must have read the first book by the end of January a pair of the agreement. Mm. So, oh man, mm, good chocolate. Mm. 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 Right, okay, so we have the gifts here, and we're now going to start. So, there's one in a tube that I had to open last, so we'll start with this present, which uh, feels like a book. I like books, as many people will know. So, let us see what is in item number one. And John, it had better not be some dodgy book from the deepest parts of Europe containing naughty images, because, you know the type of thing, considering the amount of pictures the man sends me. Right, so what is in this book here? Oh. That's no. So I'm curious, is this a Death Note replica, one of the Death Note replicas you can get? Oh, is this a manga? I don't know. Let's, uh, let's have a look. I'm not very sure. Is this, this a manga or is this just kind of like the Death Note replica? Because I do know you can get Death Note replicas. I've never actually owned one. I believe it's the Death Note replica. It is, ladies and gentlemen. It is the Death Note itself. And, much like the series states, the human whose name is written in this note shall die. The note will not take effect unless the writer has the person's face in their mind when writing his or her name. Therefore, people sharing the same name will not be affected. John knows, man. Any idea what would happen if this is a real death note and you've just given, this, given me the power of Kira, the power to, to shape humanity? Is that real leather? I think that's real leather. You can usually tell. But thank you, man. Thank you very much, actually. I've actually always been mean to wanting to get one of these. I never got round to it. But thank you for giving me the power of a god. All will bow before me. Unless you give me cookies and milk. And other things as well. I am now your god. For I have a death mount. I just love the fact that it actually calculates all the rules as well. It's, you know, they're all in here. Damn, I love Death Note. It's a damn good anime. Wow, well, you forget how many rules there are to the Death Note. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. It goes beyond just killing people. You can practically manipulate people's entire lives with it if you do it right. But, thank you, John. Very much, mate. Appreciate the Death Note. I'll keep it in its little box here so it remains nice and secure. And that's the, that's the cover there, in the back. Cheers mate, really appreciate that. Right, uh, next. So, next we have number two, a rather lumpy package. Um, you never know, John might have gotten me something dodgy off the deep web, maybe cocaine, 
or something. You know, it could well be a little person. Oh no, no, it is not a person. It is another plushie. This now makes, oh, let me think here. This is the fifth plushie. I now have four, no, sorry, five MLP plushies. We now have Chrysalis the plushie. Interesting. Little tag on here. Starswell Academy of Visual Novel. No idea. This is uh, actually quite like this. This is a, an interesting little plushie list. It's the only thing I don't get on these kind of plushies. They always do the manes massive, so they can't cover up one side of the face. So you have to do them that way so you can see the eyes. But she does have another eye. It's, it's just there. But cool, and I love the chrysalis, which is actually pretty awesome. Uh, thank you very much, mate. Again, for the chrysalis. I just don't get the huge big many things, you know. And you could even you could shorten these down and make them look nicer, but still, it's nice to have a little chrysalis. She even has the representative holes in the legs and the wings. Awesome. And I just found somewhere to put her. Because I literally have nowhere to put, nowhere to put her. For the moment, I may just rest her upon the desk, just here. This she'll stand up. Hang on. There. Because she stood up now. Now I'm losing my chocolate. Sir, thank you, John, for the plushie. I now have five MLP plushies. Just for the record, I have Luna, I have Luna, Tempest Shadow, Sunset Shimmer, they're all Builder Bear, and you have a Nightmare Moon, and now I have a Chrysalis, and it looks like Nightmare and Chrysalis might be from the same manufacturer, because they look, they look like the same make. But anyway, thank you, appreciate that mate, I really do. So, next, ow, I just bashed my fingers on the desk. We have this large package which may or may not contain alcohol people. It may well not contain alcohol. So, I must say John, you were far better rapper than me. I'm a, I'm a terrible rapper. I'm not, I'm awful. I mean when I rap stuff it literally screams kill me. There's going to be one moment folks that John has really gotten some solid paper on here. So, just peel the skin from the box. So, oh, what do we have here? We have a box. I love the fact of, you know, you know, mate, just, just to point out, even though you have mapped out your address, I do know where you live. Saying that I've known you for a long time, well over 20 years, 23 years, and I do know your address in full. And you know you could always peel these off. In fact, let me let me demonstrate. You see, you just you just catch it in a corner like this, and now you see it peels away. It's very easy to do. <clears throat> so you, you don't have to you know mark it all out, especially not when the person receiving the box knows your address. But anyway, let us see what's in the box. Uh, uh, okay, I'm going to need something to cut this. Uh, hang on. Right. Well, I've opened it backwards, people. Oh, wow. It is a bottle of Southern Comfort Black. I love Southern Comfort. It's like liqueur with whiskey. A robust whiskey profile with subtle spice and fruit scents for those who want their smooth Southern Comfort extra bold. Thank you. Thank you for the alcohol. 
I shall keep this hidden from my father so he does not drink it. Because he, he always drinks my damn alcohol, literally. I put it in a cupboard and he will drink it. So, you know, I will keep this out of his reach. And it will be all mine. My delicious Southern Comfort Black of alcohol beverage. It will be mine. I'm going to pop you in the box again. It's actually really nice and cold as well. Right, now we've got one other thing. One more thing. Now, there's nothing else stashed in there. No, no, no. Right, so this tube. Now, this isn't actually from Red Bubble. Uh, John has reused a Red Bubble tube from something I got him for his birthday, I believe. And there's a message here. Please excuse the use of the tube thing. The tube thing, yes. Merry Christmas. And open on camera from John. This is indeed being opened on camera. The tube thing. So, it's either stuffed full of cocaine, possibly cocaine, or it may well have been replaced with flour. Or there could be something in here that is not cocaine. I'm betting it's not cocaine. So, let us have a look. Though I am curious, I have a theory as to what this could be. Again, it's a theory. And if it is what I think it is, then I will be very pleased. In here we have something. So what have we got here? Holy crap mate. So we've got some personal artwork from Nilsey. I must admit the guy's artwork is actually seriously coming on. And this looks like some professional paper on here as well. So we've got a picture of Derpy. With all hem muffins, everybody. And everybody knows we all love Derpy. Damn, I love Derpy. She, she, doesn't, she, doesn't, she does get quite a bit of love. And it's good to see her when she appears and she does talk in the series. She very recently um, appeared in the series quite recently. There is one other thing in here as well. Uh, give me one second. Cause I want to keep these safe and probably keep them in the tube. We've got another picture in here. What's this? We have a picture of Spike, everybody. Again, John, I like this paper. I don't know what this is, but it's some sort of special paper. But we have a picture of Spike. The dragon. Again, mate, I do like your artwork. It truly has come on quite nice. You've really gone heaps and bounds in it. I look forward to what you'll be liking like, this time next year from drawing. I do. Right, so, I suppose I should at this point ask, I have no idea, but just on, on the uh, non-subjects of art, my friend, when on earth are you going to do up my uh, my pony original character out of, out of interest? Because I sent you the, uh, the thing for that ages ago. I mean, no rush, I'm not rushing you. But I'm happy with these, these are damn and nice pictures. You've done a really, really fine stuff. Strap up job, uh, job there, my friend. Don't know where you got this paper from, but it's pretty professional. I'm going to pop them back in the tube just so they're nice and safe. God, I'm terrible at trying to fold stuff hang on a second this is this is bad this is bad this is me attempting to do something <laughs> that's not going to work that's not that's just bad what am I doing people eh? what am I doing there we go one two three Nah, I'm gonna need some some time to sort this out. But anyway, this has been Sam unwrapping stuff from Nosey. Thank you, mate. Really appreciate it. Peace out. Have a good Christmas, everybody. And I'm gonna struggle to put these back in the tube. Have a good Christmas. Bye for now.